Hi guys, so I have my September favorites. I don't have a lot this month because focus on my personal makeup was kind of not big this month. I don't know. I was doing a lot of other people's makeup this month. Um, first off, look at my cat in the background. Rose! She's not paying attention. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just start. The first product I want to talk about is because this is my, did I say September when I opened this video? I did. It's my October favorites. I'm so out of it. I'm sorry. I meant to say October. I said September. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'm not going back though. <laughs> um, is this Cinema Secrets stack? I don't know which one it is, but they have the grease paint stacks. Um, my cousin has the vampire one. I don't know which one this is. It has a white cream color, a black, a red, and a brown. Um, I don't know which one it is, but these are really cool. And I've been using the black as eyeliner. And um, <clears throat> I think these are just essential for, like, your Halloween makeup kit. I just, I believe that because these are awesome. Cinema Seekers is a great company. Um, these lashes I never got to wear. For Halloween, which I'm kind of upset about, and I've been brewing in my head like a birthday party theme or something that I could wear these with. But my mom bought me these at some Halloween store. They're gigantic, and they're they start off black and then they fade into blue. They're huge. I had them on one night, just sitting there with these on, and they're really hard to see out of because they kind of just obstruct your vision a lot. But they're awesome. Um, so yeah, since I didn't have a lot of favorites, I thought I would throw in some Halloween stuff in here. But that was it for the Halloween stuff, so. Um, next is this brush, and it's the Low Cornell 796 Shader Brush, I want to say. And it looks like this. And it's really, um, I was drawing stuff on my hand before with eyeliner, because I'm crazy. Um, and it's kind of really, really multi-use. I've used this for everything, I think, this month. I filled in my brows with it. I put lip gloss and lipstick on with this. I did my eyes today with this. I did my eyes yesterday with this. Um, this is a really great brush. And I think it was only, like, $3 or something. So, that's really good. Um, fantastic brush. And that's the only brush I have this month. I lost... No, not the only brush I have, obviously. I have to say that's my favorite brush. I lost my angled liner brush from Coastal Scents, and I'm really upset because that's what I was using every morning to do my eyeliner, and now I only have this. Not that I really love this. It's just it's a little bit more work than the other one. I'm making sure my eyes are even. Next is my NYX Cream Glitter Palette, which is very messy. Um, the reason this is in my favorites is I think that this is another Halloween or essential. In the next video I'm going to film after this, this is an essential in two. And this one is in paradise. And it's got the pink, the black, the white, the gold, and the silver. So um, <clears throat> in the next video I'm going to film, which I'm excited about, I'm going to talk a lot about this. And then I have two lip products that are my favorites this month. One is Violetta Lipstick, which I'm surprised is even in my favorites. And everyone should know what that looks like. It's purple. My cat is, like, sitting there just crying. What's wrong? No. Oh. Um, and then Wrong Spell Lip Gloss. I'm really into dark lips. I think that that's a huge fall trend along with, um purple and violet lips. I think that that's a really big fall trend. So <clears throat> I've been wearing just this. I, this is wrong spell by itself. So I'm into dark lips for fall for some reason. Next is um, a body mist, fragrance mist, sorry, from Bath and Body Works. And it's the Secret Wonderland, which I think I mentioned this in a haul video with Lauren. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is all the good side of kind of the season of the November, December, um, kind of fall, winter. I think this is a great fall and winter fragrance, even though 
some people would say it's not because it is a little bit fruity but I think it's the perfect mixture of like that fruitiness and that spiciness of like the season I don't know why but this is amazing and I think sometime this month November they're coming out with this in a perfume in the big size and then a big size of this because I only have the please excuse me my cat thinks he's an acrobat and can stand on a folded up chair so that was the result of that he's fine though he's sitting there looking very pompous because he's he is fine um I was talking about the fragrance mist and yeah they're coming out with that in November I think and there's a squirrel outside <laughs> I like squirrels and um <clears throat> the next one is another perfume and it's one of the newer Mark perfumes. It's the Sophistique perfume. Just feel classy saying it. Um, this is the warmer side of fall and winter. This is like, um, kind of dark, kind of like makes you want to cuddle up fragrance. And I finally been able to actually wear this cause yesterday it was like, I think the high was like 50 something. So I'm very happy I can start wearing this perfume. I'm very happy I can start wearing heavy sweatshirts and stuff like that to go to school because this is my favorite season. I'm sorry, I'm really congested. So I really, really like this perfume because it's very warm and it's very cuddly and I just, I like the base notes too. I don't know what they are though. So. Um, And the next, the last thing, oh my god, this is the last thing. No, it's not. There's one more after this is the Ruby Pumps nail polish from the Wizard of Oz collection from China Glaze. This video is literally in me and Lauren's second video on this channel. Our second video after the Welcome to Our Channel video is um, a review on this and the Ten Man nail polish. Yeah. <sighs> It just brings back horrible memories of my ginormous blonde hair. Um, but I hated this when I first bought it. I just was disgusted by it. I thought it was, like, way too glittery. And I couldn't figure out a way to wear it that it would get to its true color. Now I did. And this, I have this on. It's, I mean, it's really, really pretty. I'm, it reminds me of, I don't know. Um, but what I've been doing is I've been wearing Off With Her Red underneath it from the Alice in Wonderland collection from OPI. But it was in the little bottle, like little sample bottle, and I lost it. So I used this NYC Fast Dry Enamel color. It doesn't have a name, but it's like a cherry red color. And it's really bad. It's just really bad nail polish, but I needed a base for this. Um... And then I've just been putting the Sashay V top coat over it. And then my book for the month of October would be Poker Face. Ow, as I poke myself in the face. The Rise and Rise of Lady Gaga, which I got eyeliner on. Um, I am not finished with this. I'm like halfway through. But this book is so interesting. It's so good. It is, it's about... Lady Gaga's life and um the road to where she is and it has pictures like in the middle of it like pictures of like her outfits and stuff and it's a really really good book I mean it's a little pricey it's twenty six ninety nine I think but if you're a huge if you're a little monster I should say you should definitely buy it because it's a very good book so that is my October favorites, really sad October favorites, but the next video I'm going to film should make up for that. So I love you guys. Subscribe, rate, comment. Please comment. There's like no comments. Thank you.